I guess I can say this is the most important event we have ever held. Uh, it's very, very important because for us being a, a country so small with a very low level of the, the equestrian activity and to know that we have the support of the FBI, it's really significant. Well, the experience was amazing. I have never been to Ecuador and it was great. I love the city and the horses were great. The, it was very good sport and I had a great time. Normally we go to championships that are in our region so to come to this event, to compete with people from Africa and Asia. I'm from Central America, it's so far away. It's very, very rare to come to events that all of us come together. The FEI Solidarity is the FEI's development program uh, and departments. And we work on es essentially the education of human resources in order to help national federations develop the sport, so giving them tools to create activity, to um, educate their officials, their coaches. And so with the challenge, you have the officials that may have been educated through our program for national officials, the coaches that come together, and most importantly, the athletes. So it's a, it's a great link in terms of all of our different actions within our uh, FBI Solidarity Department and program. The challenges that coaches and riders uh, are facing are certainly the uncertainties, really, of what a borrowed horse, borrowed horse can bring. And the course designer certainly has that as well. So try to have an equilibrium, a balance in the, in, in, in the size of the course, in the flow of the track. It's really quite a challenge. The thing is that the, this, this type of competition, when you get a horse that is not yours, it's really hard to prepare because you don't know what type of horse are you getting. So it's uh, kind of more the, you need to have the skill to ride different types of horses. Uh, it gives you a lot of experience and uh, it teaches you to, that you need to ride, be able to ride all types of horses, not just yours. Well, her name is Sophie and um, she's a really big horse, a little bit um, strong. But uh, she was very nice. She jumped all good rounds for me. Today we had a bit of bad luck in the first one, but she jumped clear in the second round and she was amazing. The main point of this competition is to create a better level of the rider than the horses. And I think that uh, FEI is doing a good job in that, uh, in that way. For all like a coach, it's very interesting to see the level of the other countries and the level of the other participants to see where we are, what we have to do better to make it better and better. It's a really great experience coming to an event like this as a coach and mixing with the other coaches. Um, you get to feel the different um, riding styles from around the world. Um, there's so many different diversities. Um, I think the one thing that is really good is that the coach is always willing to want to um, share knowledge and be involved and they ask questions and we get to chat. I think uh, it's not only the competition that is important, it's also the friendship that is created here, the understanding, people from all parts of the world working for almost a week together, training together with borrowed horses and, uh, and that creates a very specific, special bond between these athletes and their coaches. The social aspects have been uh, amazing. For example, you, need, you meet new people and you make new friends from all around the world. I believe uh, the spirit and the friendliness of the people has been amazing. For New Zealand, all we knew competing was first place was going to compete no matter what. Compete here with all the different international um, people. You just don't know what to expect. You don't know, you've never met them before. Yeah, you meet them and they're lovely people. Um, we're all big family now, it's only been a week. Always in this sport you are learning and more when you have this kind of guests of uh, other countries that come with uh, another techniques and they can talk together, they can uh, share uh, some, uh, some things, how to do it, how to jump and, and everything. And, uh, and always is a good time to have uh, riders of other countries visit us. It's amazing to have this kind of event here. The equestrian facilities at this club are really beautiful. And thanks to this competition, uh, for the first time in Ecuador, we have built an arena 
with conditions that can be, you, you can see only in first world countries. So this is a fantastic opportunity to us. And this is all thanks to FBI, to Ingmar de Vos, the president, who designated Ecuador as the, the country to, to be held this competition. Well, I, I visited uh, Ecuador and uh, the National Federation uh, two years ago. And uh, I must say that I was very impressed uh, to discover all these beautiful infrastructure they have in uh, Ecuador. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, that we saw that needed improvement is, uh, is the footing. They uh, created a whole new arena with, uh, with an all weather footing, which is uh, to the international standards. They are now uh, creating another arena here uh, with the same footing. So uh, I really believe that, that having the final of the uh, challenge here has, uh, has been uh, the, the motor uh, or the, the, uh, the trigger to say, to improve the, the footing. And now I think they are ready to host also other important uh, events. So I hope that, uh, that this will contribute to many other international events uh, in this company, which is also important for the development of the sport in the region.